I've never felt more classier in my life than drinking apple cider from a freaking wine glass. <sighs> Yo, what is up everybody? I'm Mommy Yoshiko. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So after posting selfies of me at the PlayStation headquarters, freaking gaming and having a damn old time, a lot of you guys were saying, hey, well, what are you doing? And I'm like, game testing. And a lot of you guys ask, how do you do it? So this video is going to be me talking about how I got into game testing, explaining ways so that you too can become a game tester. Let's get started. Point one, you do not need to be a pro gamer at anything to become a game tester. You don't have to be in esports, you don't have to be on any comp teams, no. For some reason, a lot of people think you need to be like a pro gamer to be a freaking game tester. No, you don't. Before I talk about how to actually get in, let's talk about what are qualifications for a game tester. There is a lot of corporate, which means it goes through the game companies itself, such as Blizzard, Atlas, Square Enix, all of those, you can become game testing straight through them. Or there are a lot of middlemen who work on the DLCs, and those, they try to look for people. And for most qualifications, they want you to at least be 18 or older, just so they can have you do M for mature ratings, it's just easier. Maybe some people hiring will not worry if you're not older than 18, but just in general, it is a lot easier paperwork-wise, pay-wise, yes, you do get paid. But yeah, one qualification, most you should be over 18. But for corporate high business, most of them do require you to have some sort of calling. Not necessarily in gaming or engineering or anything. Most will just ask if you at least have an associate's degree. I have an associate's degree. And just like regular jobs, they kind of just see, can you be given a task and complete it? Another requirement they would like you to have is to just be a strong literature, very literate person. You got to be able to explain details and be able to explain precisely in detail if there are bugs or other things you see in the game. Luckily, English was my strongest subject, but don't worry about it for the most part. But they just want someone who can explain in words what they're seeing as they go through a game. And of course, another requirement is for you to at least have basic knowledge or a little more higher basic knowledge of the game systems and the games. For how many hours a week do I play? What do I use? Do I use community? Do I use the streaming? Or do I just play the games? Do I play online or do I just play by myself? All of these questions they will ask you and would want you to answer. No, like, no hardware knowledge, but they just want you to have basic knowledge on how a PlayStation, Xbox, or PC works. And last, but certainly not least, they just want you to be passionate about gaming and the industry. They don't want anyone just calling, hitting them up, being, hey, I just want to play video games and just get paid and nothing else. They want someone who loves video games, doesn't mind, literally sitting there, nine to five. They want you to be able to sit there for eight hours and just play and be able to pay attention, you just have to love video games. They want you to not be bothered if you have to come for the next five days and play nine to five. You probably one of the hardships is you have to be willing to be able to sit there nine to five and just play. I know it, I know at first it does sound heck of fun. Like when I did it, I was like, holy shit, five straight days, eight hours a day of just playing games. But it does take a toll on you. So you just have to make sure you love it and you have the stamina for it. Let's talk about how all of y'all can get started in game testing. And I just don't work with one company. I have worked with several companies. But the number one way, even if you don't have an associates or any experience, the best way is Craigslist. And I know that may seem like really sketchy, like, ugh, really Craigslist? Okay, one, don't use any websites that make you pay and all that, no. But through Craigslist, I've gotten experience to test out Crunchyroll, an app for Crunchyroll. I was invited to go down there and test out an app and that was through Craigslist. You have to think about it this way. A lot of the times companies don't want to hire someone as a position, like the corporate games who want a part-time game tester where they come for weeks. Some companies just want you to test out something really quick, just get some different opinions and then move on with their job. So that's why Craigslist is the perfect place. The easiest for these companies to just find quick people to just test. But using Craigslist, I was able to get an opportunity for Crunchyroll to test an app. I was able to go to the Play TV headquarters 
and was able to test their new app, which is a streaming app similar to Twitch. And you know, they want gamers, they want people to help out. And a lot of indie gamers actually use Craigslist. Obviously NDA, non-disclosure. But you know, a lot of indie games will look at Craigslist to be like, yo, can you come and just test out our game? Give us opinions, let us know if you see any bugs. Because you know, they're all dealing with the game enough as it is. They would rather hire someone, even sometimes not even for money. Sometimes companies will just be like, I will give you a $75 gift card for Amazon come and test my game. I've also been able to go work at VGM Gaming, which is also where I got information to do the PlayStation Headquarters playtest. Don't make, just make sure you don't have to enter your credit card anywhere. And it's also normal if you go on a site and there's just a link to a Google Doc. So those are probably the easiest. Sometimes it seems really sketchy. Crunchyroll, most of these companies have used the Google Docs information because it's really easy to just enter your name, phone number, your experience, all of that. And how I do it is I just go on Craigslist and I go to gigs and I just write gaming. Next search, video gaming. Next search, beta testing. Next search, game testing. And you will be surprised how many there is actually out there. But also if there's like 50 of the same post, those obviously are probably a scam. But that's why you have to make sure to pay attention. I usually pay very close attention. And if you can tell it's a real person typing this, being we need you and we're gonna pay you very minimal, it's probably very true. Another way to get into game testing, which kind of seems obvious, is to just be a video gaming YouTuber or vlogger. When I was at PlayStation HQ, even working at gaming events, that I've done even when I've been promo modeling with. A lot of them actually get very interested when they find out that I stream and I do YouTube. They don't even care that you don't have millions of views. They just care that you do this and you do it to the public. So you have a probably general idea of what you're doing when you're playing games. Or like a blogger who, you know, reviews games. They were very interested in that. Even at PlayStation HQ, they were even asking, oh, you do YouTube. Do you like vlog and review games? And I was saying how I'm getting started. And you know, they were interested in that. So obviously they call you back. They trust that. They they want to see that, okay, this person will know what they're looking for when they're testing our game. If you're a video game blogger, YouTuber, and you review games, you could get opportunities if you connect with the right people. Which is good, you know, to go to like the gaming convention, like PlayStation Experience, E3, all of that networking is also very, very good as well. One of my friends, her sister got married to somebody who actually worked at a company who did video games and they were actually able to get them into gaming just because, oh, you play games? Yeah, we need game testing all the time, come on. They do need people. A lot of people are like, oh, they probably don't need anyone. Like they do, they always want new people because they're catering to our market. And the last tip on becoming a video game tester, just apply to the companies themselves. Like I mentioned in the beginning, you could apply to Blizzard, Square Enix, Atlas, they literally have it on the career section on how to be a quality assurance slash game tester. But as stated, these are the ones that they want you to have at least some college experience. But for these, a lot of them do want you to have some software experience about the consoles, Xbox, PC, PlayStation. And they do want you to be 18 or older because a lot of these is a actual part-time job position. A lot of these that I do are kind of just like when they need someone for a game, they'll call me. They do want you to have strong reading, writing, and spelling skills. From my experience, you know, they want you to type out something that's maybe really tedious. Getting to a point and they ask you what is tedious about this. They ask you every mission, every side quest. Do you like the side quest? If yes, why? If you don't, why? And they ask you difficulty level, anything you found really enjoyable or really epic. They want you to be able to explain it and explain it well so that they can read it and then they could decide on perhaps changing things or just knowing the overall impression they're going to be when this goes to the market. You know, a lot of these do want you to be local as well. For example, Atlas and Square Enix, all of these are located down in SoCal. PlayStation HQ is in San Mateo. They have a San Mateo location, which is where I go to for stuff. Blizzard, all of these companies do have have a career section where if you have the experience or the dedication or you have something to show, for example, your blog, you can apply directly to be a video game tester. Hello. This is my cousin. Say hi, baby. Hello. And that is it for my video on how to become a game tester. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, any other details you want to know about becoming a game tester, definitely leave it down in the comments below and I will answer them as soon as I can. And before that, we got some showstoppers to announce. 
First showstopper is Roberto Calderon Seller 9. Sorry if I pronounced your name funky, I'm not very illiterate, which is why I haven't applied to the big dog companies. But thank you so much for all of your love and support, it means the world to me, thank you so much dude. Mwah! Next showstopper is Dan's underscore Banans, you are adorable darling, thank you so much for all of your love, thank you so much girl, you are awesome. Mwah! And last showstopper is Dominica Chan 999, I'm sorry if I butchered it, I, I don't know how to read, okay? But I do appreciate your Komaida Nagito freaking profile. He is my freaking daddy. <laughs> he is my bae. He is my love. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. It means the world to me. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and make sure to hit that bell because a lot of y'all say you don't get the notifications when I upload a video. So make sure to press that bell and you will be notified. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining my weeb family. I love you guys very much and I will see you next time. Bye. Ooh, yay. Come do, come here. Here, let's do it together. Ready? We're gonna go like that. Okay, ready? Go. No, here. <laughs> uh, we're going to Target now. Bye.